hello everyone and welcome back to the channel today i'll be showing you how to set up the switch emulator ryu jinx now in a previous video i've showed you how to set up ryu jinx before but that was the og build of ryu jinx this particular version is the land build this land build allows you to increase frame rates and it also allows you to play multiplayer on various games on your switch on pc now for this particular method you're going to need the ryu jinx official land build you're also going to need your keys and you're going to need your firmware i cannot show you where to get the keys or the firmware from but if you go to the link in the description surprise you know i got you covered now after you download everything and you extract everything with 7-zip or any extraction tool that you may use you should have three new folders right in front of you the first folder we're going to open up is the ryu jinx official land build when you open up your emulator for the first time it should look like this the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and add our keys we're going to go to the top where it says actions we're going to hover over where it says install keys and we're simply going to go down to where it says install keys from a directory we're going to find where our keys are located at select them press open and we should get this indication right here that our keys were added to our emulator the next thing we're going to do is add our firmware we're going to go to the top where it says actions we're going to hover over where it says install firmware and we're simply going to go to install firmware from a directory we're going to find where we have our firmware installed and we're simply going to select it press open and let us do its thing we should get this indication right here that our firmware was added now that we have our keys and our firmware added it's time to add our games to the emulator you want to go to the top where it says options and you simply want to go to where it says settings once you're at settings you should see this page right here we're going to go to where it says game directories we're going to hit add and we're going to find where we have our switch games located at i cannot show you where to get the switch games from because i have original copies but once you find that folder that you have your switch games downloaded in all you have to do is select that folder and press open the next tab we're going to go to is our input tab this is where we're going to configure our controller for this particular method i'll be using the xbox controller the first thing we want to do is go to where it says input devices and select whatever controller we have hooked up to our pc the next thing we want to do is go to the controller type and make sure it's on pro controller if you want to configure any buttons for your liking all you have to do is press whatever button you want to configure on your mouse and then select that button on your controller the next tab we're going to go ahead and head over to is our systems tab while we're at our system tabs i want you to take a look at a couple of things the first thing i want you to do is check ignore missing services also i want you to go ahead and pay attention to this vsync area right here this land build is different in various ways and this is one of the ways in this particular area right here you're able to unlock the frames per second meaning if you switch it from switch to unbonded you can unlock multiple and extensive frame per second trust me i was playing pokemon scarlet on 100 frames per second the other day <laughs> you're gonna enjoy it the next tab we're gonna go to is our graphics tab you're gonna go ahead and select vulcan and you're gonna go ahead and select your graphics card if you have a pc that can handle it you can go ahead and change your native resolution to 1080 or whatever your pc can handle the next tab we're going to go to is our networks tab this is another feature that the land build has that the original doesn't this is the feature that allows you to connect multiplayer on various games using this particular emulator 
we're here we're going to go ahead and simply check where it says yes internet land mode also if you want to learn how to play multiplayer on any game you can go to the video right here and i'll show you how to play multiplayer using this land build now that we're finished we're just going to go ahead and click apply all your games should go ahead and load up for you you simply have to double click and play whatever game you want to play if this helped you in any way shape or form go ahead and hit that like button and don't forget to hit that sub thank you surprise baby yippee